As the Women's League wrap up their 2008-2009 season play, the AFC Academy Team A is making a push for the league title. In a matchup with the AFC Academy Team B, Team A put on a stellar performance, scoring nine goals in the 9-0 shutout. League-leading Team A will have to defeat the veterans of the Grace Bay Football Club at least twice in their upcoming late-season meetings. Sports 4 caught up with the winners of Team A and the players from Team B who talked about their improvements as a team. Um, for well, the first half we weren't really playing at our best, but second half we pick it up and I guess we got the game, tried to do our best, and so we accomplished. We proved a lot. At the first first, first game we played, it was worse than this. I think we lose 22 to 0, and as we continue to play, we get stronger from 22 to 7. I think we come great. In other sporting news, the Provo PPC cricket competition over the weekend featured two games. The first being played on Saturday between the police and the St. Lucian hitters. And in this one, it was the St. Lucian hitters recording yet another victory. The police could only amass a total of 121 runs all out of 17.2 overs after struggling to come back from a collapsing performance. One of the police lead hitters, Garvin Bruno, was retired very early, scoring only one run. Kareem Jack tried to restore some stability as he slammed six fours in his 27-run haul before he was dismissed. And closing hitter Grantley Williams matched Jack's hitting, scoring a colorful 26 runs in an attempt to muster a win for the police team. But it was not enough as the hitters opener Chabli Chowdhury and captain Marcus Charmeline secured a well-deserved 35 and 44 runs respectively. Also with double figures was Curtis Flavian with 27 runs to add to the St. Lucian hitters win. In Game 2, it was the Masters battling against the Jamaican All-Stars as the All-Stars hitting first piled up a total of 208 runs all out from 28.3 overs. The All-Stars had five players in double figures with Gareth Butler and Kevin Hines each scoring 48, Damian Leslie 20, Jerome Mendez 14, Oliver Smith 15 and Austin Francis 10. Outstanding bowling performances came from the Masters with Henry Pennant, who capped four wickets for 39 runs off six overs, Hilton Duncan, two for 28 off five overs, and Hubert Hughes, one for 28 off 5.3 overs. The Spence Security-sponsored Masters tried to answer but fell short as the Jamaican All-Stars went on to win 208 all out from 28.3 overs, Masters 177 for nine from 30 overs. For WIV4 Sports, I'm Jody Harvey.